Hey and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. It's the end of August, so you know what it means. And you probably saw it by the title. It's time for another plan with me. This time I thought I would let you guys choose what my theme would be. Um, I did so on Instagram polls and the final theme that you came up with that you voted for was wildflowers. Again. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that because the style is going to be a little bit different. I know I do a lot of collages but this month you voted out of different styles and watercolor was the one you chose. So. That's very exciting. Um, I haven't watercolored in quite a while, but I'm confident that watercoloring wildflowers will be some will turn out great and that I will have a lot of fun doing this. But before we start watercoloring and drawing, there's a few issues with the month because the last week of August has five days and the first week of September has only two days, so I've been struggling a little bit with and then I tried this out and I tried some new stamps out but I really didn't like the way this turned out. So what I'm going to do is change this up a little bit so I can take away this one, put the last day of August in the bottom so we can use this as a September cover page, then as usual put my monthly spread here for all the important appointments and things that I have. Then, as the first week of September has two days, I want to add a flip out here for just the two days. So I'm going to take that from the back of my traveler's notebook. And how I'm going to do that, not glue it in here, but I'm going to glue it glue these pages together and put one page in between and this will also help me with the with any possible leaking because this is not watercolor paper and using water on regular paper may cause damage so if you glue these pages together it is a little bit more sturdy this will be the second week of september and i will do this off camera because otherwise this video will be way too long. One of you suggested I would do Australian wildflowers and I think that is such a unique theme. Like those flowers are so different from the wildflowers we have in Europe. Which, yeah, I really like the idea of doing Australian wildflowers instead of the regular wildflowers that I do a lot. This was suggested to me by jemima.grudner on Instagram. I'm just sketching those out and we'll talk again soon. I wanted to make this one a quote page. So you guys sent me some quotes. And out of those, I chose this one sent to me by Mimi Snowmill. And it says, To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower by William Blake. And I will just see how this fits on this small stroke of paper. So I'm back with my paints, my brushes, water, and my coffee, which I shouldn't mistake with the water. It happened, don't do it. Don't drink your coffee afterwards. I'm warning you. I mixed the green color already using a few of the blues and greens that I have here. And I will just start to paint. So while I'm painting, I just wanted to update you on a few things. First of all, I reached 100 subscribers last week and I want to thank you so 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 much for that. It still amazes me that people like my videos and that they actually watch them. And to reach 100 is really a big milestone for me. And I wanted to thank her just 
give her a little extra special thank you. And I'm going to make her a flip book. And she wanted to send something back, so there's going to be a video on that, hopefully. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that college is starting again in September. And I probably won't have time to film, edit and upload videos every week. And I was wondering if it would bother you if I just slowed down a little bit until I figure out how I can manage uploading a video every week and also staying on top of class. And I was wondering if you work full time or if you have a job or if you like me are studying and you are a, a YouTuber, how do you manage? Because this is quite new to me and I actually started doing this as a pastime for the holidays. But yeah, I really would like to continue because I mean, a hundred of you are following me and I would hate to disappoint you by not uploading as much anymore. So first of all, would you be bothered by me not uploading every week? And second of all, how do you manage if you upload every week and have class or work? Please let me know in the comments. And for the word September on top of the spread, I just used the smallest brush I had with a thick layer of black paint. So to create the kind of brush effect this flower has, I used a dry brush with a little bit of color and just made hard strokes with it. I'm not really satisfied with how this turned out, but then again I'm not a professional painter, <laughs> so please forgive me. Right now I'm just writing down the days of the week and the numbers of each day. And for all the writing, so the days of the week and the numbers and also the quote, I simply used a black fountain pen. And that's it for the spread. So I decided to paint another flower on the spread the page before and this I'm using the Australian national flower the golden honeysuckle I think <laughs> I actually made a Pinterest board I will link that down below so if you get inspired to watercolor you can see the exact images I used for this plus a bunch of other wildflowers that I thought I might use. And to give it an extra effect, I decided to paint the little squares of the day to just place them with a little bit of yellow, so they stand out a little bit more. And here I also wanted to write down September, but I used a tiny brush with green. The same green I used for the leaves. That was it for today's video, thank you so much for joining me in watercoloring this spread for September. I hope you liked how it turned out and I hope you liked the way and I hope you liked voting 
on my Instagram page. If you want to follow me on, on Instagram, I will link my Instagram down below. And please share your recreations with me. I would love to see them. Yes, thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and bye.